Can you tell us how the Johns Hopkins University Global M Health Initiative fits into the um, bigger scheme of things as far as mobile health is concerned? Sure, and uh, thanks again for having us here. It's, it's, this has been such a proliferation of uh, technologies and solutions in the space we call M Health that often governments and ministries of health, implementers, large NGOs, who are really delivering care to that bottom billion of the, the world's population that uh, are a little flustered by what they should invest in, which strategies work, and how they can actually improve health for the greatest number of people in the most efficient and efficacious ways. And so what Johns Hopkins Global M Health Initiative uh, provides is that research base to test rigorously the solutions that are being innovated in this space and give ministries of health, give large NGOs, implementers, that evidence base to select the strategies that are the most eff effective and most cost efficient to actually achieve the health outcomes that we're most interested in. So at Hopkins, we have a history of, of doing large, robust research in challenging settings. And so that's part of what we bring to the M Health space is saying how can we evaluate M Health in the same way that folks who make the decisions, the policy decisions, can actually view M Health as, as a strategy to scale up the ways that we can save lives. Mm -hmm. Can you, um, I know many people use that term, evidence-based. Mm -hmm. right. Can you tell us a little bit more about it, what sure. it really means and, and why it's important to mobile technology? Sure. I think one of the strategies in, in mobile health that we've seen, now here we, we're, in this meeting we're talking a lot about two, two aspects of mobile health. We're talking about individual mobile health, which is largely based on sensors, technologies that help us to, to monitor our, our well-being. But mobile health, also in the global health setting, refers to system strengthening. So how do we empower health systems to achieve those objectives? And so what, what the evidence there is about is testing the specific ways in which M Health can add value to a particular intervention. One, we know about 150 different ways we can reduce maternal and neonatal mortality mm -hmm. in the developing world. These things have been known for, for decades, some of them. But the problem has been in delivering those solutions to those hard to reach rural populations. So what the evidence we generate uh, is really focused on is answering the questions of how much better does, do these systems allow us to be as in terms of a health system, as well as questions of cost, uh, relative cost. What okay. are the trade-offs in investing in an M Health strategy versus, say, enhancing training of frontline health workers? Mm -hmm. so, so that's the kind of information that people need to make decisions. And evidence basically refers to high quality information that they can then take actions on. Okay. Well, thank you very much. So, well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here.